Allah. Um, as you guys, if you guys remember last week, I had a discussion uh, with our sister. What was your name, sister? Zarina Matra. Sister Zarina Matra. So we had a discussion. Uh, we started off with agreeing, which was about feminism and you know all the stuff that they say. Da, da, da. So we was in agreement with that we had a difference of opinion on certain matters, and it was look. The discussions happen. Discussions are not where we speak to people that we agree with. I'll be honest, I have a podcast uh, which is called uh, Bitter Truth and I invite people that I disagree with. So it's totally understandable that we had some disagreements. However, you did come back today and I think you wanted to maybe... Please tell us, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for you. Please tell us what happened. Well, you see, in the comments of the video, a lot of people said that I was trash and loose and run through. Okay, and they were absolutely yeah. right. I am run through. And that is exactly why I believe that Islam is the solution because you see, for whorish Western women like myself, we certainly need Islam to teach us a good lesson. <laughs> okay, okay, sister, what I would say is this following. I would say firstly, ignore the comments. Uh, anybody that's called you a whatever, I don't want to repeat after. But it was uh, thanks to you, Ali. Uh, okay, you so... You the thumbnail of me like that, didn't you, Ali? Okay, so, all right, so I think, I, I think... Okay, so let's 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 come to let's. I, I I've personally had so much cock inside of me, and I enjoy that. Okay, I'm let's end this conversation. Yeah. No, yeah. we will not end this fucking conversation. Okay, well, no, you leave the fucking camera on. No, you fucking listen to me, you piece of shit. You completely humiliated me last week. I did not fucking deserve that. I had to sit there and let people that didn't know anything about me trash shit about me in the fucking comments. Do you have something that made me feel? Listen to me. I am not a piece of shit. Where some women are not trash, okay? There is nothing wrong with the way I was dressed. You set me up. I did not want to fucking debate you, you mean of shit. Now listen, this is who I am. This is who I am. You have one million subscribers, Ali Darwin. You could have used it to help me. You could have used it to help somebody smaller than you. What the fuck the big content creators think it's okay to show people much smaller than them? I am not trash. I am an author and a musician and a YouTuber. Okay? What? No! That was wrong! That thumbnail was wrong, okay? You don't treat people like that! You don't treat people like that! Oh, I'm being sarcastic, for God's sake! I want you, I don't want you to look at me, for God's sake! Okay? You tell your audience that the IQ of a fucking bumblebee! I'm sorry I said that I would rather hang myself than become a Muslim, okay? It was rude! I did not mean that! For heaven's sake! You did not need to set me up like that! I did not want to debate you! You should not have done that to me. That is not how we train people. Are you finished this stuff? No! Okay, let me know when you I'm a person. I did not deserve that. I had to sit there. My brother had to see those comments. You know what your fucking followers said to me? That was rude. You said men use women for sex. You use a woman for likes on YouTube. A hundred thousand views. I would get my right arm to have a hundred thousand views on a YouTube channel, Ali. A hundred thousand views! Making me look like a piece of shit so you can have a good laugh about it! Did you make a lot of money out of that video? Did you have a nice week, eh? I've got 300 fucking subscribers! I thought we were gonna have an intelligent discussion about feminism! I thought we were gonna, gonna be a very amiable discussion! A Muslim and a non-Muslim talking about feminism, but no! You made me look like a piece of shit! It was horrible! Imagine if my dad saw that! There was nothing wrong with the way I dressed! Western women are not trash, okay? Just because you don't want to wear burkas does not make us trash. I am not a piece of shit. He set me up. You knew exactly what you did. You set me up. Finish, 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 it was finish, rude. Finish, finish your you claims. should not have done that to me. Sister, you should not have done that to me, okay? Sister, finish your claims, then I can talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to disturb you. Just t tell me if you're making accusations, slander. I don't want to say anything else okay. to you. Thank you Good day much. to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you take much. this, take thank this. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what's going to do me. Okay, so let's just, yeah, let's just bring some clarification. Um, this is a lady who came last week, and she said, "I said, can I have a discussion about Islam?" She said, "Sure." She said, "How many subscribers do you have?" I said it very categorically, clearly. I said, "It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter how many subscribers I have." She was adamant. But how many subscribers do you have? I said, "Since you're asking, which is irrelevant to me, I don't give a damn about my subscribers because it means nothing to me." I said, "I have just reached a million. Oh, really? No." Okay, let's have a discussion. She all of a sudden lit up. And I thought, okay, I just want to have a discussion. It's irrelevant because the video might go on to our Salam channel, which has 100,000 subscribers. It's irrelevant. So we had a discussion about feminism. We agreed on a lot of points about feminism. So the conversation moved on to us having a discussion about, for example, feminism and the sexual liberation and how women are treated like crap. They are treated like a toilet. And why do I mention them treated like a toilet? 
I'm there to tell her how Islam honors women. I never told her she has to wear a burqa. I never told her she has to wear a hijab. I just said the Western women are being sexually objectified. They are treated like a toilet. When somebody wants to be relieved, he goes to the toilet, right? And I said, this is how men are treating you. So we had a discussion. I wasn't looking at her. And she was like, uh, there was a point that she said, oh, why don't you look at me? Why don't you look at me? I said, why do I have to look at you? So what's happened is that in the comment section, I can't control the comments. I not once called her a HOE. I never once called her any words that degrade her. All we did is have a civilized discussion. And it seems like there were certain points that I made that she felt embarrassed. That's not my problem. You wanted to be on YouTube. I didn't say I want to be on YouTube. And after that, she's coming here. As you can see, she said, oh, I've changed my mind. I want to read the Quran. I said, okay, no problem. We can talk. Now she's here screaming her head off. And to me, it just shows this. She's sadly, there's some kind of instability. I have never ever used her. I've, you have full permission. I told her, do you want to have a discussion? Yes, I do. You're the one who jumped. Oh, you got subscribers. Now, when I have a debate with you and you are saying, I'd rather be hanged or dropped from a wall than accept Islam. I didn't, did I? And anyone that watches the video, even when she said that statement, watch the video, everyone said, oh, the fact that you was patient with her, I could have said you're a bigot. I don't want to talk to you. Get the hell out of here. I treated her with respect. I spoke. I brought arguments forward. I did not come and say, you are a, excuse my language if there's any kids here, you're a slut or you're this. Never. I don't care how you're dressed. In Islam, it teaches me to honor you. I don't care if you're in a bikini. I don't care if you're in a miniskirt. I don't care if you're wearing a burqa. So to me, it just shows that you wanted your five minutes of fame, whatever it was, it backfired because I had to defend my religion and now you're here having a mental breakdown, screaming your head out. I don't care, you can scream as much as you like. Do you think I'm phased? No. B touch upon the arguments that I made. You didn't. You said, I'd rather fall from the wall than accept Islam. I said, sister, give the, the Quran a chance. Can you read it? No, I don't want to. Khalas. Now you're here, like my right ears uh, popped. I think I need to go doctor. Yeah? So in a nutshell, guys, you can see if you watch the video for yourself, no way, shape or form, I manipulated her. She was asking me, Oh, can I be on YouTube? It's clear as that. So just because you can't deal with the arguments and your points were made invalid and you embarrassed your own self, why are you attacking me? Why are you blaming me? I'm just talking here. Imagine me talk to someone and he's making val invalid points and I prove him wrong and he gets upset. Why are you upset with me? So as you can see guys, and if you remember last week, do you know what she said in the video? Why do you have to come to this country, keep your Sharia in your country, you know, we don't want to hear it, etc. And now you're here literally shoving your opinion about me down my, the, down my throat. The comment section I can't control. If people are insulting you, then by the way, I looked at the comments. Most of them said, I can't believe she said, I'd rather hang myself than read the Quran. That was most of the comments. I never saw any comments insulting you or swearing at her. So that's it. And as you can see, guys, this is the park, alhamdulillah. If I've done anything, if she can prove that I manipulated her or I got it, nothing. She was begging to be on YouTube. You got one million subscribers, da da da. And there you go, it backfired. You thought you're gonna have your five minute of fame or whatever it may be that you think I do it for, yeah? Just because you are under, after the fame and the views or whatever it may be, you think I do it for. And what was the thumbnail? Have you seen the, have you guys seen the thumbnail? Yeah. Look, I'll go to my channel, yeah? Watch this. If you can't deal with debates, don't come. If you can't deal with the heat, don't come to the kitchen. You know what it was? Okay. She said to me, and she'd said this. Why? What's wrong with men looking at me sexually? Yeah? That's what you said. I didn't add anything to the thumbnail. That's exactly what you said. Okay. And she was saying, why are you not looking at me? That's exactly what you said. You know, I know I do a bit of clickbait, but you said, I put the words in there that you said. So it's as simple as that. And, you know, that's it. That's all I can say. She had a moment. And that's it, bro. If you watch the video, and I urge people, no need to give hate, no need to insult people. We're here to have intellectual discussions. And that's exactly what I've done. She couldn't deal with it. She had a mental breakdown. And again, I'll tell her, read the Quran. Forget chasing fame, views, this guy's got a million subscribers. Forget all of this. Well, why? This means nothing. You're one million, who cares? You think I'm going to stand in front of Allah and say, I've got one million subscribers? Who cares? Worship Allah. Free yourself from the shackles of this dunya, this life. You will not be as depressed and upset like that. Yeah, chasing whatever fame it may be because you know what it seems? It seems like her reputation because I'm an author. Yeah, can you see? She's after the wrong intentions. Give her right arm for 100,000 views. Thank you. Did you see she say that? Yeah, she look, 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 look. She, she goes, I'll give my right arm for 100,000 views. That's flipping crazy, bro. So you're after the fame. I gave you your two minutes of fame of rebuking you and destroying your arguments, and you're upset with me. I want to be like, is there any ear doctors around here? La ilaha illa wallahi. Yeah, I feel sorry for the person. Wallahi, alhamdulillah. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Nothing else.